If Trump and Biden are the nominees, it's very likely that no labels will get access to the ballot and will offer an alternative. And, uh, you know, if most of the voters don't want A or B, uh, it, we have an obligation to give them C, maybe for the good of the country. Hmm. Former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican this weekend, his comments come as, quote, unquote, no labels. The political organization Hogan co-chairs is working to get ballot access for a potential third-party bid across the country. The group has gained access in 10 states. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat, is considered a potential candidate for a no labels bid. Here was him this weekend. If you're a Democrat, they expect you to villainize every Republican. If you're a Republican, you should villainize the Democrats. That's not the way our founding fathers intended for this democracy to work. Understood. They intended for us to work together. Chris is here. Uh, you said earlier you're a nerd, so you love this stuff. Yeah. But isn't it just a little too nerdy to keep getting and speculating in the, the thought and the hopes and the what-if game of no labels well, to the party? First, let me say it takes me back to West Virginia to hear the way that Joe Manchin pronounces the word Democrat, uh, Democrat. Uh, that does, that, that has... You feel like you're in your happy place resonance, now? It has resonance for me. It makes me want a pepperoni roll. Um, this poll, this Monmouth poll... Uh, that we have here today is the most beautifully crystalline depiction of what we'll call the pizza problem. And the pizza problem is, we talked about this on the show not too long ago, which is, what do you want to get? And pizza, yeah, okay, fine, we can eat pizza. But then if you're supposed to eat pizza, and Le let's say I've said, we're going to go out for pizza, okay, fine. And Leland says, don't you think we ought to have something else. Wouldn't you like to have something else other than pizza? You can get a lot of people behind something else. But when you tell everybody what it is... When you say it's pepperoni rolls from the gas station in West well, Virginia, then right. You're yeah. going to be at 100%. Okay, so I just, right, you, just so we can put the poll up. Third party impact. Joe Biden, Donald Trump, generic third party. 37 Biden, 28 Trump shows you how soft his support is. Generic third party. Wow, that third party looks really competitive right. in that poll. Oh my gosh. It's something other than place. No picture. Other, no than pizza, other than pizza, other than pizzas in second place. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then, and then we put in pizza, a specific type of pizza, like pepperoni pizza, right. or we say, let's go get Italian, and it drops to 16. Brrr. So this, this is the conundrum. Um, look, millions and millions of Americans in the coming cycle are going to vote for neither the Republican nor the Democratic nominee. There's a guarantee, you can lock it in, five, three to five percent for sure are going to vote for somebody else. They're going to write in their Aunt Gertrude. They're going to vote Libertarian. They're going to vote Green. They're going to do whatever. Those are protest votes. If no labels, so first of all, the ballot access is a huge deal. But if no labels is going to shape the election, and we shouldn't sneeze at 16%. 16%, Russ Perot did 19% and changed American history in the way that people do politics in the United States and all of that. But if you want to persuade voters you need ballot access, number one. And number two, you need a way to pick a nominee that isn't just pulling a mansion out of your hat. You can't just have a bunch of donors say, surprise, here we go, this is the guy. So we have a lot, to, a lot yet to see and learn about no labels, but I am watching closely, nerd or not. But if you listen to No Labels, uh, it's, it's It's shocking, Scott. You weren't actually part of this segment, but we're glad you inserted yourself. You did get your one more thing in. You get the last word, then we got to go. Uh, no Labels says they're not going to be a spoiler, right? So as you watch those numbers, No Labels in both of these, they're not playing a spoiler, or they could be playing a spoiler. And if they're a spoiler, that helps Donald Trump, I think, more than it helps Biden, notwithstanding these numbers right Biden here. Biden went up three points with me. Yeah, I know, but there are other <laughs> polls that say otherwise. I think that that no labels is not going to fill the candidate. They may have access to ballot in about 15 states right now, but in the end, they're not going to get in because 16 percent or 30 percent, they're going to have to see higher numbers in order to really believe they got a shot. 19 percent changed American politics, Russ Perot. Right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.